This is the uh, finished trellis. I ended up using them for muscadines and some raspberries and some blackberries. Um, 150 feet long on the right and 150 feet long on the left. Right here on the left, I went in and strung a second wire here at the bottom. Um, these are soft. Uh, what are these? These are heritage raspberries. Um, only got five of them, but plenty of space to do some more. Over here on the right, this is uh, an Ison muscadine. I'll still have to come in and uh, put a pole up to train it up to the top wire. And plenty of space. The muscadines here actually get 20 feet, 10 feet on each side of them, so there's kind of a blank area there. They're, that won't plant anything there. They'll just be muscadine running along the top here. Another Ison muscadine. These are Natchez thornless blackberries. They just look like sticks right now, but hopefully they'll be uh, hopefully they'll be good and hopefully not too hard to take care of. Again, plenty of space between the raspberries and the blackberries to plant more in the future. Just one post short here. Um, don't have anything to plant here, but anyway, there's one more ice and muscadine. And this is an ice and muscadine. They don't look like much right now. They're uh, pretty small. But I'll train that up on a on a stick to get it to the top wire here. This is a Terra muscadine. A little bigger, but still a Terra. I planted this last weekend. Plenty more space here to plant something. There's a Terra muscadine. That's a, a bronze one. This is a Terra I just planted today. I don't know if you can see it. I'm pretty small, but... To come in and put some sticks up. One more Terra down there. And then right over here is a Terra. Last one again. Can't... Can't tell much, but that's it. This is, I think you pronounce it, a Cynthiana grape. And this is not trellis I built today. This is trellis I built last year, I think. Yeah, I built this last year. This is a Concord that I started from a cutting from Grandmother Rogers' house behind the church. So I started it last year. It grew in a pot all year. No, oh, that's wrong. Oh, yeah, that is it. Yep, that is, a, that is the Concord from Grandmother Rogers' house. This is uh, a Reliance grape that I planted this time last year. It made it all the way to the to the wire and then to the right and to the left. I don't know if I'll get any fruit on that this year or not. I didn't last year. This is a Jupiter. I don't know if that's going to focus. Yeah, Jupiter grape that I planted last year. Made it to the wire. This is a Concord that I planted. This is two years old now. Um, I just bought this at Home Depot. And it actually produced fruit last year. This I planted last year. This is a, uh, a Thompson seedless. So it, it made it all the way to the wire. This is a red flame grape. So all of this stuff here is grape. Uh, hopefully in a few years I'm going to have lots of grapes. Let's see. Let's just start over here. This is uh, an Anna Kiwi that I planted last year. Um... 
don't know if it's good to grill like that or not. It kind of did it on its own, so I'm going to leave it be, I suppose. And supposedly it'll be another six or seven years before I have any fruit off of that, and it'll it's supposed to take over this, this entire trellis here. This is a male kiwi. Um, it won't ever fruit. It's just to, to pollinate the, the Anna kiwi. These are uh, a few kinds of blueberries I planted last year. That's powder blue. Brightwell Jersey. And Blue Jay. It's a cherry. I've got four more cherries to plant this year. Um, they've got to be close to pollinate. Um, so I'm probably going to dig this one up and move it somewhere else because I don't want to plant them here. Some apple trees. Not sure what this. I don't know what this black is. I hope that's not fire blight. This is a Fuji. I guess I need to get out here and spray these. That's Fuji. This is Yellow Delicious. Uh, I think I planted these not... I think this is their third season here. Um, this one fruited last year. I had a few Fujis. They weren't all that great. The Yellow Delicious did pretty well last year. This is a Granny Smith. Apple. Some wine sap. And I see they've been pruned. I'm trying to keep them short. This is a horse apple that Aunt Lou gave me that the goats almost killed, but it somehow made it and I moved it out here. And it's I lost this tag. I better forget that tag. The plums are already uh, already blooming here. It's uh, what is it? March the eighth. I think that's a methley plum. Those two trees there are um, some kind of crab apple. They made more crab apples than we could eat last year. Uh, so I pruned them really really heavily. Want to keep them short so. This is another, this is a Bruce Plum, just about ready to, uh, to bloom. This is a Burbank Plum. I don't recall what this is, but it's in pretty bad shape. It may not make it. If this is going to show up or not. I don't know what that is. It's been like that a couple of years. These next two are peaches. I don't have any idea what kind they are. Um, I took pits from a grocery store peach and planted them, and these trees grew. So. Getting ready to bloom. Another grocery store peach. I have uh, four more blueberries. These actually fruited really well last year. Um, they're seven or eight years old, but they spent half of their life planted next to my driveway, and they never did anything there. And I moved them out here, and they did. They've done pretty well ever since. 
I don't remember what kind they are. I think they're Climax. Could probably stand some pruning. And this is a pomegranate. Don't know what kind. Um, it's from a seed that I planted from a grocery store pomegranate. Believe it or not, this pomegranate is the exact same age as the other one. Um, the topsoil, we're just kind of on a, the top of a hill, and the topsoil is pretty thin right here. And I guess it makes a pretty big difference. This one bloomed not last year, but the year before that. Still have never seen any fruit on it. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll get some fruit. And a fig. That fig, I don't know what kind it is. Probably a brown turkey. It's from my dad's house. I, um, just uh, dug it up under his fig bush. He's got a huge one. And that's it.